Hey, how's it going everybody? For today's video, we're going to be doing a Johnny Bench debut. When it comes to Johnny Bench, he is pretty much, in my opinion, probably the best catcher on the market right now. The reason why I say that is Pudge has more contact than him, but not as much power. And honestly, Pudge gets some of the worst exit velocity still that I've seen in the game. He's like that one card that just doesn't make sense. I wish he was better but he just hasn't added up. So looking at Johnny Bench's stats, he's got 97 contact on right, 101 contact on left, 98 pop on right, 106 power versus left with 109 vision. He's not gonna have the most amazing, spectacular PCI size, but it's gonna be fairly well, especially on the Hall of Fame and lower difficulties. On Legend, again, it's not gonna be as good as Pudge's PCI size, but it's gonna be pretty, pretty similar. He's got 95 fielding, which, Again, as a catcher, so far in this game, from my understanding, it doesn't seem like it matters. Even with the 92 blocking, those stats, unfortunately, don't matter a whole lot. The ball is going to get by if it gets by. But the 95 arm strength, now that's a fat W. The other cool thing about Johnny Bench, if you wanted, he could play first or third. And at third base, he would have diamond defense. So, it ain't even at first base, he would have diamond defense. But I feel like there's better third baseman hitting-wise but obviously not fielding wise it just depends if you like a swing you like a swing you can put him at first third or catcher so the way the lineup's gonna work out today we got tony Gwynn leading off honus wagner hitting second and johnny bench hitting third obviously we're trying to get him as many at bats and also clutch opportunities as possible chipper jones hitting fourth ken griffey frank thomas rogers hornsby and willie mays if you want to see me do other debuts of the other two set or was it eighth or ninth inning bosses let me know in that comment section which one would you guys like to see the most, Ernie Banks or Ted Williams. If you want to stay up to date with MLB The Show, gameplay, tips, and content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to turn on notifications as well. We are currently rated 915. Let's go ahead and get right on into this. Hopefully, the game is on legend difficulty. At worst, we'll make sure it's at least on Hall of Fame because I still can't, uh, being only rated 915, I can't guarantee just yet. As you see, the starting bar is at 847, not 900 and above. So it's at least going to be on Hall of Fame. And before I forget, we actually do have a new pitcher in the rotation. Hopefully we get him. That would be cool. We do. We did add Tom Seaver. And let's see, who do we got? We are going to have Clayton Kershaw versus Clayton Kershaw matchup, which is actually good for our debut player, Johnny Bench. He has a full gosh card with Pee Wee Reese. Now, again, if this was a couple weeks ago, I bet you that Pee Wee Reese card would be disgusting. But now, where power plays really well, I'm going to go with, I'm going to be happier with Honus Wagner. And maybe even, I may even want to try out Tulo again. That Ernie Banks, I'm not going to lie, he might be one of the better shortstops. He's going to be very similar in terms of how good I would value him with Honus Wagner. Biggest thing we're going to have to do today is be patient. I don't know if this is on the Legend or Hall of Fame difficulty. It's probably on Hall of Fame. We're going to get a screamer of a base hit up the middle starting off the game, right? We took some pitches. We drove a good pitch. Let's continue that, especially with our debut player. Honus drives it. I think we just didn't get our hands in enough. Well hit ball to the warning track, but here comes Johnny Bench. Johnny Bench in his debut on a 2-0 count. We green-lighted it, got a great pitch to hit, a two-run shot. And honestly, he has a better swing than I may have thought. Chipper Jones up the middle. Can he just still turn it into a base hit? I don't know what Clayton Kershaw just did. Warped out of his mind. But either way, it's going to be a base hit up the middle. We am still getting it. Ken Griffey Jr., lefty, lefty, crime time. I haven't hit well with him in the last couple games. He needs to turn it around. Great. Oh, well, you know what? We ended up just missing that. Our two out so far, a deep fly out. So, for a first inning, this is the best we've done in a while. 3-0 to Frank. We're going to get some knowledge right here. We're going to take all the way, see if he's just going to groove it. What is he going to do? He's going to throw an absolute dot. And then he throws one right down the middle, and we found a way to miss that one with Frank. So, we do score two, courtesy of Johnny Bench. But we don't do much more than that. All right, it is the postseason, and we both have Kershaw. So, who knows? Maybe we're going to end up giving, like, 10 runs apiece. After he was late, I feel like he's going to expect the sinker. But we're going to see. Up and in sinker. It jams him. And can Honus get the range? Honus with the range. That's why he's at short. Saves us from a bloop nightmare. First pitch to Dawson. Old faithful fastball. And away. Oh, is that going to head? Is going to turn into an out. Tony Gwen should easily get there, even though he's jogging. I wish they would sprint a little bit more. 3-2, we're just going to throw a get me over 12-6. And that is going to be the definition of a get me over. And we are going to get bailed out by RNG Jesus. Never mind, Tony Gwen didn't K 
catch that. So because that just happened, <laughs> on, on cue, because that just happened, Frank's going deep, tie game. It is easy reads. The biggest thing with Kershaw you're going to have to acknowledge is not to leave that slider over the plate. Give me that strikeout. Well, like I said, tie game. Let's go ahead and try and get the lead back and at least I kind of have a read on my opponent. We'll be smarter in the next couple innings. Horns be up the middle. First pitch swinging. And it didn't hurt me. Oh, I think I just dropped my PCI a tad too much. That is going to be a fly out to the center. So 3-0. Last time he threw an absolute dot. We're going to be taking all the way here. Because giving Honus Wagner a shot is going to be huge. He is going to throw another dot. This is crazy. And there we go. We end up taking ball four in a very close pitch. Honus. Come through. Oh, my God. We ended up getting a sinker right down the middle. And we did nothing with it. All right. Well, let's be smart this inning. Do not throw a slider into his righties. He is going to be struggling with the fastball away. Because I think he's going to think it's going to be sinking a lot. So, we got to take advantage of that. 1-0. There's a 12-6. I wish I never threw. 1-2. We're looking for dots in Amish. That ain't. That is the complete opposite of what I wanted. But it still gets the out, nonetheless. 2-1, let's bring that sinker inside. All right, down the middle. Give me that line out right back. All right, let's go ahead. I think Johnny Bench is going to be leading it off. A base hit, another tank, whatever it takes. Johnny on a 3-1 count. We got a great pitch to hit. And common theme so far today. We missed it. Chipper the other way. We ended up getting ourselves underneath that one, just like with Johnny Bench. We got to get our PCI placement down. We're getting some great pitches to hit, and we suck. And a check swing bunt. I, I, I wanted to check swing, and Griffey is going to get a base hit like that. Give me my two-run shot. Come on, Frank. Big Dick Frank, line out. All right, that's nice. So let's just literally groove one. He was ready for it, Frank. Don't do this to me. Just step on first. Out number one. Two, two. We're looking for a sinker. Dots up and in. Not a dot, but it is a strikeout. All right, back to old faithful we go. I'm surprised he hasn't just stuck his PCI up and away because I keep attacking it because I keep getting weak outs. We get ourselves out of the inning. Hornsby is going to split the cheeks. I mean, well, the gaps, which are some cheeks, you know, left, right. But either way, Willie, I... Why aren't we going to third? That could have worked out, but computer makes bad decisions. And, well, we ain't scoring. I'm just kidding. I got faith. Clayton, is that going to bleed in? That is going to bleed in. Kershaw with the bloop single, helping himself out. Let's go. We got the lead back. Now, if we could get the bases loaded for Johnny Bench, that would be great. Or at least give him an opportunity to come up this inning. As long as we avoid the double play with Honus Wagner. Johnny Bench is going to be coming up with some runners on. No, no, no. Thank God for the check swing. Honus Wagner. Here we are. Bases loaded. Three singles in a row. Can Johnny Bench clutch it up? And I ended up swinging at a really stupid pitch. I don't know if we're going to be able to score. We are going to be able to score because he got a terrible animation. So Johnny Bench is somewhat clutch. You know what? It worked out. It's still my fault again. We missed a fastball down the middle with him. And then we swung at what would have put us in a 3-2 count. Chipper, we need you to break it open. We ended up probably just missing that one as well. Common theme. 2-1. That's a mistake. And that is going to cost me a potential double. That is going to be a double. That should be a good 12-6. And he's going to drive that. But welcome to the club. Willie. Never mind. Welcome to the club of my outfield apparently sucks. All right. Every time we get a lead, we give it up. You love to see that because I can't throw strikes. Old Faithful again. Fastball up and away. Just stick with it. It magically works literally every time. Fastball up and away again. And this time, Pee Wee's going to be able to get it down. Gonna hit our cutoff, man. We still have a potential for a double play. Fastball up and in or down the middle. And it's gonna be able to turn two as long as we get good animations around. We get ourselves out of the inning. That was clutch. That was a clutch mistake. Griffey, come on. We were just out in front. Just a hair. Griffey up the middle. Don't be another base hit. Let's go. Frank. 3-2 count. We're gonna do a hit and run. Frank is going to be able to put into the gap. Hit and run works out amazing. Can't say that too often because usually it doesn't. But a base is 
clearing, one RBI, double. Don't be swinging at that. Don't bail him out. We need at least one more run this inning. Hornsby to right field, and that is, you know what? That's a good at bat. We drove it. We did everything right. Fortunately, that is not going to be able to move anyone over. Will he base it up the middle? We are going to be able to send Frank home on that, I think. It, all right, he ended up throwing it to second, so we are going to get the RBI. We now have ourselves a three-run lead. On this 1-0 count, if we get a bad jump, we'll do a hit and run. But we're going to also steal right here. So if we get a good jump, we got an amazing jump and an off-speed. We should be safe all day. Willie Mays, we stole a base. Can you believe it? Looks like that stolen base may not matter. We're in a 3-0 count. We're going to go ahead and take all the way. Let's see what he does. Is he going to groove or is he going to throw another dot? He tried another dot. Ball four. So the stolen base doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a lot of fun. That I, The first pitch he threw me was a fork ball. Ten years out in front. And then he throws a fastball. I was late. Honus, we are going to be able to load the bases again. Yeah, we're not going home on that. I was debating it, but let's give Johnny Bench another opportunity. Johnny, the other way, did we get all of it? It's going to be deep, but is it deep enough? <sighs> Looks like we apparently just missed it. Bases juiced. Just shy of four extra four extra runs. That would have probably meant a lot. Let's go sinker up and in. Good pitch. Get him by. Up and in sinker again. Good pitch. You blow it by him. 90 gas. Again, in that comment section, let me know how good that Aegon is. I'm so curious because, Frank, you've seen him. He hasn't been doing too high. And Aegon... At the beginning of the game was an absolute stud for me best thing about romo is how accurate he is and tell me he also knows his pfps he doesn't so that's unfortunate and then we hang a slider and we get to breathe a sigh of relief that's gonna be a routine pop-up in the infield we get ourselves out of it again i think it's been 11 or so innings since or that i've been using romo and he hasn't given up one run He's a very, if you have somebody who's throwing 95 and above, and then you bring him in, he is solid for two innings. Well, that's a hell of a first pitch from Billy. Chipper! We got another fastball down the middle. We are now going to be up by four runs, if I'm not mistaken. That is the first bomb by Chipper, and that was an absolute tank. Oh, and he came right back with that fastball. Well, rest in peace to Griffey's bat, and his catcher almost missed that. Frank down the line that is not a great hit but it found the correct hole so we got a man on first not a lot of speed Hornsby tell me that please tell me we got all of it so it's a foul ball that is another essentially deep foul but in foul territory Willie the other way that is gonna be a well hit ball but not hit well enough so we do score one courtesy of a chipper bomb but we are still up by four sergio romo is going to be able to go one more inning barring any bad things happening all right we're going to see if we could gas a four seam by him that's going to be a good pitch and we are not going to be able to gas it by him but he did get underneath we've been throwing a lot of sinkers as the first four seam stayed flat caused him to get underneath it romo is cruising good remember what i say ladies and gentlemen do not ever say anything positive the moment you feel like saying it suppress that feeling because something bad happens right afterwards throw that slider away good pitch and he tried to sit back on it and he did but it was off the plate so romo's first run in 12 innings is a tank to frank so this guy sat back on the cutter really well and he is struggling with the slider so Certain people, you do have to understand the cutter works better and others it's a slider. For my opponent right now, it is clearly the slider. Lou Gehrig, and we were a tad, not only late, but also a tad underneath that ball as well. Our best innings are pretty much routine. If we get a leadoff runner on, those are the best innings we've had. We got to try and find a way. That is a terrible hit, but you know what? I'll take it. Honus Wagner with another beautiful hit two beautiful hits in a row now if this was me johnny bench is going deep because anytime i'm pitching and two late hits happen the card's going deep let's see if i can do that with johnny johnny the other way that's not gone that that is not gone a fastball down the middle and dawson's gonna be able to track it down johnny bench has gone almost deep twice chipper did he get all of it or it's uh all right, common theme. We're going to go ahead and bring out the circle change god. And we are probably going to have to throw a lot of other pitches in that circle change. Because, again, 
Trevor Hoffman is known for it. Now, last time I threw a cutter, he went deep. And we probably just got away with one. We're going to get risky. There's that cutter again. Good pitch. And that is a double play cutter, ladies and gentlemen. Good pitch by Hoffman. We got ourselves two outs. We're going back to the up and in change up. Good pitch. He hits a dot. Sometimes you got to get creative with Trevor Hoffman. And that absolutely froze our opponent. Frank, tell me he got all of it. Come on. All right. All right, one, two, three, inning, that inning. When it comes to PCI placement, yikes. All right, let's see if we can get him with that old faithful cutter again. Good pitch. And I don't, we're going to be able to turn two. What a turn by Hoffman. Oh my God, the cutter's dirty. We're doing it again. Up and in, circle change. He, ah, he was ready for it this time. Fastball, oh. Thank God he missed it. Willie the other way. Okay, that one's got to be gone. It is about time. No more deep flyouts. That is a tank that barely got over the wall. Duke is going to be rolling it over to second. There's our first out of the inning. Hopefully, we can get at least one more base hit or a runner on to give Johnny Bench the deep flyout. God, another shot. And as long as we... That is four hits for Tony Gwynn, by the way. As long as we avoid the double play, Johnny Bench... He's getting his another opportunity. Honus, tell me he's putting into the gap. That is definitely... Please. That's down, right? That's down. That's off the wall. We're going to have second and third. Oh, my God. We may not have third. We have second and third. We get another clutch opportunity for Johnny. Come on, buddy. Johnny, base hit. There we go. That is an absolute screamer to the right side. I think he has four RBIs today. Don't be a double play. Well... There's the special sub for double plays. You knew it was going to have to happen. All right, there's a two seam that's not necessarily exactly where I wanted it, but it is going to get the job done. Out number one. All right, let's locate that two seam good pitch. That's what I wanted the first at bat. That was a dirty pitch. We jammed them, Pee Wee Reese. Sit down. Out number two. Slider low and in. That is hanging on us. And I don't know if we're going to be able to make the play 87 speed. Going to get hosed by Honus the Hose Wagner. Player of the game in his debut. I mean, he had four, four RBIs. He was two for five with two deep flyouts. Johnny Bench. As I said, Johnny Bench was two for five, a home run, four ribbies. Willie Mays, two for five, a home run, two ribbies. Chipper Jones, two for six with that home run. Tony Gwynn had four hits, all singles. Honestly, I think Johnny Bench is actually pretty solid. I would highly recommend him if you don't have cards. Like, again, I wouldn't even recommend Pudge, but I would honestly say I think Johnny Bench might be the best catcher that you could buy. The only other catcher that may compare to Johnny Bench at this moment is Pudge if you're looking for a bigger PCI. But at the same time, if you're looking for the cheaper route and you had, and you don't have a cap put out in your field, I recommend just getting a diamond cap. But if you're using that shorter second... Johnny Bench is your dude. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's content, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Y'all have a good day. Thank you.